Okay, so the Alliance, the Central Fortress is still burning, and it's been at least 11 hours. I'd say it's probably been closer to 12 hours. It's about halfway done. The burning rate is at about 3,600 per hour, so since 80,000 was its strength, which will take a long time. You can extinguish it every half hour. I've been extinguishing it with these uh, Alliance credits of 100,000. I just do it in order to keep them on their toes and keep them present. Right now there's only one troop. A half an hour ago it was two or three troops, and then before that five, and then 12, and 15. So they're standing at attention, but not as much as they were in the beginning because they wanted to keep us out of it. So I might actually think about sending some troops in there to garrison it since there's only one troop right there. That would cost them lives when they do attack. And I will just keep, uh, keep them on their toes, keep them busy, because as long as they're busy there, they're not busy elsewhere. Now, up here is where they built their flag up to this and the alliance flag they destroyed here. And then I wanted to show something over here where they were building another alliance flag. We had a flag here. I ended up demolishing it. You can demolish a flag by just simply going to it. If you're the R5, there's a demolish button right there. Take seconds. Now, why would I demolish it? Well, the very simple reason that every resource costs money and it costs more in the beginning than it does later on so the earlier flags that are shown here now they aren't the earliest but they they were earlier for 25,000 of cropland and and wood which is the resources that we are accumulate up here right now they aren't accumulating because all our flags are ineffective where the nodes are that we were accumulating from plus we don't really have people out gathering right now because they've been so much at attention so, but then later they end up being 50,000. So by demolishing flags, you are saving the alliance money in the when you decide to start building again. Um, but also, it kind of keeps them on the toes. It doesn't give them the the privilege and the honor of having the right to destroy our flag. But that's all right. Um, now they're building right here. So how far along are they on this one? One day. Uh, we'll see if I want to uh, demolish it anytime soon. Um, it's probably because I think it's uh, been nighttime the last few hours, but I am actually thinking I might garrison some troops into the fortress just for the fun of it. Um, but I just wanted to let you know that is why you would destroy or demolish an alliance flag. There's other reasons to do it as well when you're expanding so much and you realize an area isn't as good as another area and that kind of business. But right now what we are dealing with right now is the fact that they want us out of here and they want to push us out. Now you notice we still have a lot of ineffective flags up here. I might just gradually go this way, lead them along. If they have to keep following us along, the more they are paying attention to me, the less they are paying attention to the other small alliances in this zone that they will start going after. I'm sure this one will be soon. I'm sure this one will be soon. And I'm sure this one will be soon. These are too small for them to worry about yet. This one probably is as well. Um, this one isn't close enough, but and this one not really either. But like I said, the more they're going after me, or us, I should say, because you are still strong as an alliance at the moment, even though I will definitely help anyone move that wants to move. I have no qualms about just keeping this an alliance of a few. And I notice here, this happens to be an alliance probably associated with the one over in Rivendell. They are working together to take over their various zones. Um, this one is going to have a lot more work involved, I think, than KW. But I don't know. KW has started a presence over here. And they've started a presence over here. This one's really small. Um, they're going to try to put bigger players over there to start going after the small alliances in these areas. But like I said, and here's another presence over here. Um, the more they're focused on me or us, and you don't have to be part of the us if you don't want to. That is totally fine. No hard feelings. It's what you need to do. Um, as long as you're doing, they're doing that, they're not going after these other small guys. And then this one here, down here, I believe is what's going to be happening in Yonshu. I think they have the same premise of dominating their zone. Let me look real quick. So 
so yeah, they have as their leaders the same leaders. Papin Tulio is the leader of um, KW, although he goes by Cooley now. And uh, I can't remember which one. I think it might be Finn is the one of Crew. So these three areas, they are trying to be dominated, or these three major alliances are trying to dominate these three areas. I believe they all jumped together. And I will try to do a jumping video soon so you understand how that works. And that will be it for now.